Hey guys, it's Lauren. Welcome to the last video in my huge Makeup Declutter series. Today we are doing all things lips. We're doing lipsticks, lip glosses, lip liners, lip balms, anything you can think of lip. We are decluttering it in today's video, so I hope that you guys are excited for it, and let's go ahead and jump on into it. Let's kick this video off of the left-hand side of the drawer with all of my lipsticks. The first two are from Anastasia. These are their liquid lipsticks. I have the shade Milkshake and then Crush. Crush is such a beautiful neutral kind of pink tone for me, so I am going to be keeping it around. Um, you guys may or may not know, but I really don't love liquid lipsticks, so whenever I find a formula that I do enjoy, I want to keep them. Even though I don't wear this, you know, kind of nudie, light pink shade very often, I want to keep it because I do enjoy the formula so much. Then I have this Color Sensational Lipstick from Maybelline in the shade Romantic Rose. It's this really pretty pink with like a mauve undertone. Definitely up my alley. I've been using it a lot recently, so I am going to keep it. Then I have my NYX Butter Lipstick. So these are in the shade Little Susie and then Explosive. I love Explosive. It's like this really, just my perfect everyday mauve shade. I use it actually a ton. So I'm going to be keeping that one. This one I'm going to be keeping as well because I just love this formula so much. It's a really pretty like bright pink shade for this time of year so I am keeping this one as well. Then I have my NARS Velvet Lip Glide in the shade Bound. This one I really do enjoy. I don't wear it as often because it is a little bit deeper. It is kind of a lip liquid lipstick type look but it is very comfortable. If you're not the biggest fan of liquid lipsticks like me I would definitely recommend going to be keeping this one. Okay then I have my L'Oreal lipsticks. So I have two of them. I don't love the L'Oreal lipsticks. I just really don't like the way that they smell and they're just not the best either. I want to keep the shade peach fuzz around because it's not like a ton of things I have and I do wear it on occasion but then this shade caramel caramel latte let me show you what it looks like I have a shade later on that is one of my MAC lipsticks and I really just don't wear it um this one as much as I do wear the other MAC lipstick in a very similar shade so I'm going to be passing this one along to someone who could get better use out of it. So here are a bunch of my Maybelline color jolts and I'm not sure if you can get these anymore but I really do like the formula on these. This one in the shade Strip Down I use actually a lot so I'm definitely keeping that one. And this is like ready or not this is like a really kind of red with a bluish undertone. Don't have a ton of those and I do love this formula. This purple I'm never gonna wear I'm just telling you right now. But I'm the type of person that like likes to keep things around in case I will use it for some reason like a dress up day because I am in like high school. We still do those. So I am going to keep them both around. Just so you guys know, the products at the top are more of the ones that I'm going to be keeping. And then the deeper we get down, those are the ones that I really don't use at all. They just get shoved to the bottom. So those are probably going to be more of the ones I'm getting rid of. Then I have this NARS lipstick. It is in the shade Dulce Vita. It's just one of their regular ones. This is so pretty. It's very versatile. I wear it pretty much year round. I use it a lot. Definitely going to be keeping it. Then I have my Marc Jacobs New Nudes lipstick. I feel like I've talked about this a lot on my channel. I have mine in the shade Roleplay. It's just this perfect Gear Lips But Better shade, and I love the formula on this, so I am going to be keeping it around. Then I have a MAC lipstick. Let's see. This is the shade Blankety. It's a really pretty pinky nude for me, so I am going to keep it. Then I have this one I've talked about a lot, too. This is my Sephora Melting Lip Click in the shade Caramel. Really enjoy this. Another one of those really nice, like, Your Lips But Better shades. Going to keep this one. Then I have this one from CoverGirl, the Melting Pout. I'm still trying this around, like, trying this out. It's in the shade 125 Gel Yes. So that's what it looks like. I am going to be keeping it. Then I have a bunch of my ColourPop lipsticks. I know I have one more in here. These are great for using on people that I can, like, put in my kit really easily. I have a bunch of, like, fun shades. I like the formula on these. The wear time's good. So I'm going to keep all of them. Then I have this NYX lipstick. This is a different formula than the other ones I was talking about. This is in the shade Summer Love. It's just this really kind of odd nude. I've had it around for a while. I am going to be getting rid of this one, just giving it to someone who might get better use out of it. This is just an old one. I don't... I think this is from like Maybelline or something. It's just an older lipstick. I just probably need to put it in the throwaway pile. Then I have two of these melted lipsticks from Too Faced. I have one of the originals. Um, and then I also have the melted. I like this formula. I'm going to keep it around. This one I don't wear all that often, but this one's kind of cool. Then I have a bunch of the Revlon lip butters just somewhere in here. I know I have another one. Yeah. So I have three of them. I do wear these kind of a lot, but... This shade right here, I don't wear very often. It's Pink Lemonade. I used to, but these two, this is like a fun berry shade, and this is um, kind of like a lighter pink, so I'm going to keep these two around and pass this Pink Lemonade one on to somebody who will use it more. Then I have these two NARS Livy Sticks that I think came in some sort of, like, kit. Really do enjoy these. 
Um, I just find that the formula is great. I'm definitely going to be purchasing a full size of this shade right here. I think it's like Rukatuin or something. So I'm definitely going to keep these around. When I finish them, I'll probably be probably be repurchasing them because I love this red for my complexion. Ooh, this one I'm keeping around for the sole purpose of I don't like it and I like comparing it to other liquid lipstick formulas. It's the NYX Liquid Suede. This is kind of one of the older Maybelline ones. I just, again, this is one that I can probably just get rid of. I think it needs to go in the throwaway pile though. Then deep down here, I have a Pacifica one and this is the Power of Love. Um, this is like their colorful natural lipstick. I really like the shade of it and I like that it is a, you know, clean natural beauty product. So I am going to be keeping it around. Mm, okay. This is one I keep around, but I'm never going to use it. It's the Absolutely New York Velvet Lippy. I'm going to be passing this along to someone who might get more use out of it. Uh, let's see. I have a, okay. This one is not full size. It's this Makeup Forever, uh, lipstick and I don't know their shade names because they're all like numbers. But this shade is like this beautiful kind of reddish mauve. So I am going to keep it around. I do use it quite a bit. Then I have the, I have a ton of these like smaller Marc Jacobs lipsticks. This one is one I got for like a rouge gift. I think I got another one in here uh, for a rouge gift. They're both really pretty like red shades. So I am going to be keeping both of these around. I love the Marc Jacobs lipstick formula. So this one is Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. And when I finish this one, I'm definitely going to be repurchasing. I think it's really a pretty pink kind of mauve shade. You guys know, like, mauve pinks are, like, my thing. This is the Kitty Cat Matte. I believe I've talked about it. It's in the shade Sphinx. Really do enjoy. Super pretty. This is, mm, this is another one from Absolute New York. I just never use it. I'm going to pass, pass it along to you, someone who can use it. This is the NYX Lip Lingerie. I'm still, some days I think I, you know what, like, I am going to keep it around because I am doing a NYX video in the future, but if I wasn't, I would definitely pass this along, so I probably will after that video. And I have this Tarte lipstick, and as much as I enjoyed this back in the day, I don't even think you can get these anymore. I'll pass it along to someone who can get more use out of it, if they're okay with it being a little older. So then I have this Too Faced lipstick from long ago. You guys remember these. Um, I just never use it, so I am going to be passing one along to someone who will. Then I have this Buxom. Okay, this has, like, first off, I really do enjoy it, but it's also, like, I don't even think you can get this anymore. It's in the shade London. It's their, like, lip pencil. I have, like, a ton of sentimental, like, things with this one. I know it's really weird, but I am going to be keeping it. Then I have this Baby Bite Lipstick. Ooh, that's pretty. I need to use that more. I'm going to keep this one around. This is the shade Plastic, and it's one of the frosted lipsticks from MAC, and I told you earlier that L'Oreal lipstick in Caramel Latte that I decluttered, this one's very, very similar to that one, and I love the MAC formula, so I'm keeping this one around. Then I have this Bite Lippy Stick. I really do enjoy this one. I think this one is in the shade Glace. Here's what it looks like. Definitely my type of shade. Then I have this ColourPop lipstick that I've just purchased. It's one of their uh, Blur lipsticks in the shade Lucky Strike. Here's what it looks like. Haven't had a chance to try it yet. I mean, I literally just picked it up. Then I have this long comb lipstick that I'm not sure is available anymore, but this shade is like the most beautiful pink. I am definitely keeping it around. This is a nude stick lipstick. I really like the formula of this. You can also use it on your cheek, but I don't. I'm definitely keeping it around. This one I never use. It's the Tarte like lippy stick and wonder or lip surgeons. I just don't use it. I think somebody else could get better use out of it. Then I have another Tarte um, lip surgeons. I don't even think they sell these anymore. I do. Here's the thing. I really do like it. I'm going to swatch this one. Oh no, we have to get rid of that. That's like, ew, that's gross. Okay, we're definitely getting rid of that. We have this um, Tarte Fearless. I mean, now that that other one went bad, I feel like I just need to get rid of this one as well. Then I have my um, Wet n' Wild Liquid Cat Suit. I do enjoy this. I don't love the shade, but I do wear it on occasion. You guys see it, so I am going to keep it around. Okay, this is a really cool, it's from Dis. I think I got this in Ipsy, but like this shade is beautiful. I don't wear it all that often, but whenever I do, I really like it, so I'm going to keep it. And that's a dirty little secret, by the way. So here are these Color Whispers from Maybelline. I just never use them. I am going to be passing them along to someone who will. These are very similar shades, too. Then I have this Tarte Amazonian Clay Park Avenue Princess Lipstick. Here's what it looks like. It is a mini size, but I do use it quite a bit. It's great for travel when I just want to throw something in there. Then I have this Trestique Lippy Pencil. I don't have a ton from Trestique, and this is something I've tried and really enjoyed, so I'm keeping it. Here is this Sephora one. It's the um, Rouge and Fusion something or another. It's a liquid kind of lipstick, but it's a little different. Like, I'm not sure how I feel about it, so I kind of want to keep it around. This Kat Von D um, 
lipstick we're going to get rid of. Pass it along to someone who uses it, because I don't. This is a NARS Audacious, Audacious Lipstick Mini in the shade Barbara. Do you use this quite a bit? Then I have a Bite Lipstick. This shade is a little, I think it's called like Retina or something like that. I do use it quite a bit, but it's not my all-time favorite. I am going to keep it though. Here's this mini Meet Matte Hughes Liquid Lipstick. I love the scent these have. It's like a vanilla mint. Really enjoy the formula on these. I am... I don't know, I'm probably almost finished with this one. Maybe if I really want to repurchase it, I will. In this case, little sample I never use. We are going to be passing it along to someone who will. So first off, we have this lip gloss from Pat McGrath. I really enjoy this. I've been using it a lot lately. I have mine in the shade Love Potion. Really pretty. Going to keep it around. You guys know I love Buxom lip glosses and lip creams and all that. Here's the Buxom lip cream in White Russian. This is my favorite out of all of the ones I have. Definitely have to keep it. Then I have my Joseph Colors um, lip gloss in the shade On Repeat. I really want to get another one of these. Jessica Braun turned me on to this one. So, you know, I'm definitely keeping it. Then we have this lip gloss from the original Coco Collection with Kylie Cosmetics. This formula is really good. I like the way this shade looks on me. Going to keep it. Here's another Buxom lip gloss in the shade Princess. This one is really nice. It's very different from a lot of other lip glosses I have. Then I have a ColourPop lip gloss. I don't love this formula, but I am doing a ColourPop video in the future, so I want to keep it around for, you know, video purposes. Here's my Jouer lip gloss. I like this for very, very specific occasions. This is in the shade Saint Tropez. I love the glitter. I think it's, like, really unique, and I like the way it looks on my lips, but it has a really weird feel, so I have to be in a very, like, okay, I really want to go all out mood because it's not the most comfortable. I am going to keep it though. Here I have my NYX Butter Gloss. This I've been enjoying recently. It's in the shade Creme Brulee. This is an old fave of mine. Here is my um, Bite. It's one of their like pearlescent lip glosses. This one's really pretty. I do use it when I want like a really fun lip because the pink glitter in this is amazing. Here is my um, Fenty Beauty. This is in the shade, like it's their original Glossy Balm. I am going to be keeping this one. I get a lot of use out of it. Here's one, okay, this is like a Wet n Wild Mega Slicks, and I really like the like Mega Slicks and all of these. This formula, I don't know how they do it. Like you can tell this is very used and abused, but I love it. If you haven't tried out a Wet n Wild lip gloss, you definitely need to. This is a Winky Lux um, glazed lip. I think it's like glazed donut or something. I don't necessarily love the shade, but I have teased a lot about me doing a Winky Lux video in the future. That is coming very soon, so I am keeping it for review purposes. Then I have, oh. This YSL lip gloss with my name on it. It's like one of their plumping lip glosses. I definitely have to keep it. It was a gift from my mom and I really appreciate it. And then I have a NYX um, Glam Gloss lip gloss. I really like NYX lip glosses overall. This is one I enjoy too. Gonna keep it. Here's one of those Wet n Wild Mega Slicks. Gonna keep it around. Then we have my Glossier lip gloss, which I really do enjoy for very, very natural days. Then we have this Marc Jacobs Enamored lip gloss. This is so, so pretty. I love the way these wear. You're gonna keep it. Then I have this Jane Ardell lip gloss, which I do enjoy. This one's really pretty. Then I have this little mini pixie lip gloss. I need to use this more because I just got it in like some sort of thing and I haven't used it yet. Then I have my Hikari lip gloss. This is like a really pretty red shade. It's so pretty to top over like a red lipstick. I don't have a ton of red lip glosses and I do like this for that purpose, so I'm going to keep it. Then I have a couple NARS lip glosses. Here is two of them. I'm, these are, I love this lip gloss formula. It is no secret. Like these are amazing, especially the shade right here, Ophelia. Then I have this plumping lip gloss from Urban Decay. This is in the shade, I think, Fireball. This is a really unique lip gloss. I love the way it has like this mint kind of, you know, flavor to it. It's really nice. Okay, then I have this lip gloss from Winky Lux. Like I said before, with that other lip gloss, I am keeping this around. Review purposes, you guys can hear my opinion on it in my upcoming Winky Lux video. Here's another Buxom lip gloss. I don't... This is in the shade Gabby. So this is kind of a different one for me. It's more of a very, like, deep berry tone, which I don't have a ton of, so I feel like I need to keep it. I do use this, you know, a good bit, but not as much of of course, as I do my kind of nude pinky lip glosses. This one is really cool, and I don't hear people talk a lot about Be A Bombshell, but this one's really unique. I do use this quite a bit, and I'm going to keep it around. Then I have my Bite. The, what are these called? Why can't I remember right now? They're like their coffee lip glosses. Um, I have mine in the shade Dirty Chai. This is really pretty. It's got that, like, nice, intense, mauve glossy look to it. I really do enjoy. Then I have another one of my NARS lip glosses in Salamanca. This is a very bright pinky one. I love it for this time of year. Gonna keep it. Then I have another Buxom lip gloss. I believe this one is in the shade Trixie. It's pretty, it's pink, it's bright, it's great for this time of year. This is an oldie and I, do, I know they don't sell it anymore, but it's like their Tarte Lip Surgeons like lip gloss in the shade Energy. 
this changes my lips to like the most beautiful I know that like the color changing lip glosses are kind of gimmicky but this one really does stuff and it makes my lips look beautiful then I have this buxom lip gloss and I don't even know what shade this is it's their older formula I think I just need to pass this along to someone who would use it because it is very similar to that shade um Trixie like you can tell they're very similar I don't need both then I have this pure minerals lip gloss I like this it's bright it's like a bright pink and I don't have a lot of those that don't have shimmer in it so I am keeping it around then I have another Jane Ardell gloss this is in the shade pink candy I really like it I like the Jane Ardell glosses and just so you guys know Jane Ardell those few products were sent to me uh here is a mini Too Faced sweet peach I never use this I'm gonna pass it along to someone who does here's a glam glow um Plumping lip gloss. I like this. I don't use it as often as I should. So hopefully now that I'm narrowing down my collection, I'll remember to. And I have this Sephora lip gloss. This is just a really pretty bright pink. I know I'm talking about a lot of those right now, but this one's really cool. I'm going to keep it in my collection. I think that's a mini. And then I have a Wet n Wild Mega Slicks. This one's really pretty to top over like my mobs, especially in the winter time. I'm definitely keeping it around. So that is all for that drawer. So here's what I got so far. I have all of the lipsticks and lip glosses that I'm keeping over here. Then I have the four that I'm throwing away. And then I have all of the ones right here that I'm going to be giving away. So we're going to be getting rid of a lot of these lip glosses. This is typically where I keep the lip glosses I don't like as much. Um, so I'm going to be keeping this one around. I do enjoy this one quite a bit compared to the other ones in here. This is the Bare Minerals Gen Nuke Lip Gloss in Totally. Then I have this MAC um, Lip Gloss. And I really do like the MAC Lip Glosses. I wish I lost my... Um, I had the one from the Ariana Grande collection and I really did enjoy that one as well. Then I have this lip gloss from Sephora. It is pretty. Um, when I want a really glossy look, this is something that I do go for. So I'm going to keep it, but I'll probably be decluttering it in the near future. Then I have a lip plumper from Soap and Glory that I do enjoy. This is the Pillow Plump um, XXL. Then I have the Bare Minerals Marvelous Moxie. I am keeping this one around as, as well. It's like a really pretty uh, PG lip gloss, and I don't have a ton of those. This one, I just need to get rid of. It's a Mega Slick from uh, Wet n Wild that I probably had for too long. Then I have this lip gloss from Trish McAvoy that I just really don't use that very often. So I'm going to pass it along to someone who will. Then I have this lip gloss from Burt's Bees. I never use this. I'm going to pass it along to another person who would use it. Then here I have this Makeup Forever. This is probably too old. I'm just going to pass it along to someone. Well, actually, if it's too old, you know what? This one probably just needs to be put in the throwaway pile. This is a Butter London lip gloss that... I'm just not a fan of. I don't ever use it. I'm going to pass it along to someone who will. Then I have this Smashbox lip gloss. And, you know, I've kept this around for far too long. I just need to pass it along. Or, Yeah, I'm going to pass it along. But I think it might. I'll have to check the expiration date on it because it could be too old now. Then I have this Makeup Obsession. I'm going to give this another shot. You guys saw my opinion if you watch my Makeup Obsession video. I really didn't enjoy this all that much. So I'm going to keep it around for a little bit longer. Give it another shot. But I probably will end up decluttering it. Then I have this Laura Mercier lip gloss, and I don't think you can get this anymore, but this shade is beautiful. I love it for a ton of different occasions, especially in the fall and winter time, so I'm going to keep it around. So then I have my Laneige Lip Glowy Balm. You guys know I love this one. It's in grapefruit. I'm going to keep it around. Then I have two of my, um, these are my Glossier Balm.coms. I love the Birthday Balm a lot. I do like the Cherry Balm a lot as well. Highly recommend these if you haven't tried them out. Then I have these two lip balms from Sephora. They're actually pretty good. I have the Ben banana one and then the goji one i love the goji one but i am going to keep both because this one is nice because it has zero pigment to it then i have this fresh um sugar lip thing <laughs> uh this is one of their lip treatments i do enjoy this balm i find it to be very just nourishing to the lips and it's a berry shade and i don't have a ton of berry toned lip balms then i have two uh lip liners from l'oreal they're the l'oreal infallible these are great shades for me i'm gonna keep them around and i have my covergirl exhibitionist it's like my favorite red lip liner i've tried to this date so i am gonna keep it around then i have this lip balm um from a random brand i think i got this in an ipsy or something but i am just gonna pass this along to someone who will use it Oh my gosh, this stuff is crazy. I'm going to have to, like, let you guys know about it. I'm going to find the appropriate video. It's this Coco Loco Mint Lip Freak Freak. Your... It's just this crazy strong lip balm. It is crazy. It is so tingling. I can't even describe the sensation. I'll have to mention it in a future video. I am going to pass it along, though. Wait, no. I'm going to keep it because I want to review it. <laughs> then I have this lip balm from NYX. It's one of their butter balms. 
I just don't use it very often and honestly someone else could get way more use out of it. I have my baby lips and honestly I never use these. I'm going to pass it along. Then I have two of my Winky Lux lip balms. You guys will hear kind of my opinion on these in my upcoming Winky Lux video so I am going to keep them both around. Then I have this lip balm that I think I got in a subscription box. I never use it. I honestly think this is probably really old, so I am just gonna put it in the throwaway pile. Then I have this lip balm from Fresh Sugar. It's their Lip Cut Caramel, and it is their mini size. I really like it. I like the way like it feels on my lips, but I'm not loving the flavor. I'm gonna try it out a little more, but I probably will end up decluttering this in the near future. Oh, here I have a bunch of my... I got a set around the holiday time with a bunch of these bite lip agave mask these are amazing i have the shade maple i have their original and then i have candy cane these are great they taste great they feel great highly recommend if you have not tried them the packaging is a little weird but they're great gonna keep them then i have this um lip liner i think it's like their ozone lip liner from the 24 7 urban decay line i really like this i like the way that it you know keeps my lipstick in place so i am gonna keep it around then i have this lip balm from sephora it's their kiss me balm I bought like a ton of these before I don't think you can get them anymore but all the time this would happen to me where the little egg part you know the pink it would like come off and this I just really like it so I am going to be keeping it around no matter how weird that is then I have um this little Benetint I do like this for my lips so I am going to keep it I don't love it for my cheeks though I use it occasionally for my cheeks then I have this fresh it's another one of those lip treatments but this is a mini in rose it's really pretty I'm going to keep it around I really like the nourishing feel of those then I have this lip balm from Burt's Bees it's their coconut and pear I really don't like this because it to me just smells like sunscreen and I don't like that so I am going to be passing it along then I have this lip balm from Be A Bombshell. I'm telling you, Be A Bombshell is a very underrated brand, and I do really like this lip balm, so I am keeping it around. Then, okay, this is coming up in a, uh, I'm going to be talking about this in a future video, just so you guys know. It's the Tarte Sting Zing. I am keeping it around for video purposes. I feel like I say that a lot. Then I have, okay, my aunt loves these Burt's Bees, like, tinted lip balms, especially this one, Red Dahlia. I need to try it out more because I just, I've kind of neglected it. Then I have another one of their tinted, this is, like, their lip shimmers in Merlot. I never use this. I think I've had it for too long, so I am going to be putting it in the throwaway pile. Then I have my Carmex. I don't use this all that often. I only use it really in the winter when my lips get way too chapped, but I do keep it around for that reason. And then I have this Burt's Bees Lip Balm and Pomegranate, which I do like. So here I have all of the products right over here that I'm keeping. Then I have all of the products that I'm going to be decluttering. And then I have the products in the back that I'm going to be putting in the throwaway, seeing what I can do repurpose-wise but we're calling it the throwaway pile. All right, guys, that wraps up my Declutter series for 2019. Thank you so much for all of the support throughout all of the videos. I just really, really, really wanted to thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for all of that. Thank you so much for everything. I hope that you enjoyed it, and yeah, I hope you have a great couple of days until I post my next video, and I look forward to seeing you then. Bye!